All right, we got our party down, we got our duo down. All we need now is, well, what would James Bond do for a project? Probably would save some animals. Save some animals, definitely. I like animals. I like it too. Let's do, let's do something with like that. Yeah, and maybe do some in, like, literacy program? Yeah, we could also yeah. do a literacy program. I know there's some areas outside of Boulder that don't have the highest literacy rate as Boulder does. We could definitely do something to catch those up to what Boulder is at. My dog would love to learn how to read. That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what are the, the five groups of uh, let's group? take a look. Let's take a look here. So. First one we have is going to be, we got forming, which is what we're doing now. It's basically members getting to know each other. Okay. We got storming, which is the next, which is members question each other, reveal more of who they are. We got norming, which is the group becomes more cohesive and united. We got performing, which is the members are productive. And we got adjourning, which the group is dissolved. Well, I move that we adjourn for this time. Let's get to know each other better than email. Sounds good. Let's do it. Okay, see you next class. See Sounds good. How bad have you been treated by the rest of the world? So I find that's really true. Because if it is, it's going to have huge ramifications for the entire world. Imagine, free power. So storming, guys. Yeah. Did you have any fighting when you were doing your video? Any fighting? I don't think so. No fighting thus far. Just a lot of collaboration, I yeah. guess you could say. Any fighting in the beginning when you were planning out what you were going to do? No, we suffer from groupthink in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think maybe if you had some fighting, you wouldn't have had groupthink? I think so. That probably would have helped to yeah. not have any to mm -hmm. get more ideas out there and fight for why you thought we should do this versus a different idea. And some of the fighting came around whether or not to clean up dog cages. That's true. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so what stage of group development would that be when you should have had fighting? Would have been in the... Storming, what is it? Storming. Yeah. I know we wanted to do that because of the energy project we were considering with the Tesla coil. Right. But that was just a big sales scam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't want to promote a sales scam. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to. So we ended up coming with the idea of a, for a reputation based restaurant app. Oh. That way we can let people know something of lasting value from what we contributed here at the Cobalt Business School. Right. That we built an application for them to find the best restaurant at any given time in the Mexican arena, the Italian arena, the takeout arena. Mm -hmm. And if they are not from here, like Keegan's not from here, right. he wouldn't know where to go right away. That's true. It took, probably, took him a, probably took him a few months of living here to know where the best restaurants were versus, <laughs> you know, you open true. up the app, you say, I want the best Mexican restaurant in Boulder. Boom, there it is. And will everybody tell us? We crowdsource the knowledge. Exactly. All right, let's get on it. Let's okay. do it. So we have two interfaces. I'm thinking of this mobile free directory. Mm -hmm. see that? Yeah, that one, because it has more options than the other one, so it definitely would be, you know, broaden our choices and options, so I would I'll, go for my life either. I'll look at that one is related where it has a box for the reviews and a box oh. to the actual website, as well as the contact information right there on the, the main screen. Oh. So you're able to see the actual reviews, which are updated, you're actually able to see their actual website. And if they don't have one, we'll put one in for them that's much better than what they have. Yes. Would that work, Troy? That would. Well, there are 400 restaurants in Boulder. Hmm. So what yeah. we eat on every day just to figure out which one's the best one. Mm -hmm. But everybody in Boulder already leaves reviews. So mm -hmm. let's aggregate those reviews, bring them all together into one place, normalize the data so we can say statistically this 98% is equal to a four-star review, which is equal to a 28-star review on Zagat. And then be able to say that this is the best one. The way we did this is through these different pieces of information, such as the Mediterranean restaurant has 838 reviews. The uh, other restaurants come down in the number of reviews, and then they have a rating next to them. So we can sort the information either by alphabetical of all the restaurants, or by rating who's the best. In this case, it's AMU, AMU, or who has the most reviews to give you more of a flavor of how many people took the time to rate that restaurant. Fun. We overall were pretty successful in creating the app that's mm -hmm. been about to be in running, so basically we're in that last process. It's good that we learned about the smart goal system to get it done time. That's true. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, it was nice working with all of you guys. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to work with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> and we made some good lasting it. value. It's true. Yes, we did. Now, how do we get it out to the community to all of us know about where to find mobilefreedirectory.com? Just got to get down the you can do it in a lot of ways. You can do it through Facebook. There's a lot of different like, mm -hmm. pages for different classes. You can put it on there. Um, we can put in all the business school, you know, put up a flyer or something like that just to get it out there. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good.